So I'm reading the, the Bible through a year on one of those chronological Bible in a year plans. And so yesterday uh, I was reading about the crucifixion and I was reading in Luke, Luke chapter 23, where <clears throat> Jesus was on the cross and when he was crucified on the cross, there were two thieves crucified along with him. And I mean, I've read this, this story uh, hundreds and hundreds of times, but something just, it just struck me, um, this time reading it. And it just really was just like, just showed like how much Jesus loved people, how much God loves the world. Um, and so in verse chapter 23 verses, let's start from verse 30, 39, it says one of the criminals who were hanged there was hurling abuse at him. So one of the criminals were on the cross, hurling abuse at Jesus saying, are you not the Christ save yourself and us? But the other responded and rebuking him said, do you not even fear God since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed are suffering justly for we are receiving what we deserve for our crimes. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he was saying, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And then Jesus said to him, truly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. And I read that and I, and I was just like, it just shows just the, the unending mercy and love and grace that Jesus has for people that God has for the world. The fact that like this criminal, this dude, you know, we don't know much about his life, but he became a criminal. And so we don't know how long he was a criminal, but the point was this, this dude was not a good dude. He did nothing for God, wasn't a follower, wasn't a disciple, wasn't a believer. He was a known criminal that got caught and was now getting, was now receiving judgment for what he did. Wasn't a good dude, did nothing to earn, to merit any kind of mercy or love or grace from Jesus. He's on the cross and he just happens to be beside Jesus on the cross. And, and he just asks him, Jesus, um, remember me when you enter your kingdom. Like you just imagine like th this is, this is it. He's about to die. He knows it's over. There's no tomorrow. It just some last ditch, you know, hail Mary. I mean, we don't know what he knows theologically. Was he well versed in the Old Testament? At least, like, we don't know anything. Doesn't seem like it. And Jesus doesn't judge him. He doesn't look down upon him. He doesn't rebuke him. He doesn't say, Well, what did you do for me? You spent none of your life serving God or doing anything. You know, he says, He saw the heart behind what the guy said and he saw. And he said, today, you're going to be with me in paradise. He deserved death, deserved eternal punishment. But Jesus in his final moments, in his last like breath was like, I got you. I'll save you today. You'll be with me in paradise. And it just, it just struck me. It's just like, we're that guy. The, we're the criminal, you know, I'm the criminal. There's nothing that I deserve more than to be judged. I didn't deserve love and mercy and grace, but yet that's what Jesus bestowed upon me through his death on the cross, through my futile attempt at reaching out for him. And he said, Joel, today you'll be with me in paradise. I got you. And like, that's the heart of Jesus towards the world, towards humanity. So many times we think that we have to like 
earn God's approval, earn his acceptance, earn his favor. It's a lie. We don't have to earn. You can't earn it. It's a free gift. Salvation is a free gift that is just received. And it's just like, it just struck me. He's Jesus, he's on the cross. He's, the Bible goes to great lengths to describe he's been beaten beyond compare. Um, beaten beyond recognition. He's in pain when you're on the cross. Like you can't breathe. Like you, like the amount of torture, the amount of bodily pain that you'd be feeling at this moment, we, we, we have no concept of. But yet in that place, in that state, he, he still looked at this criminal and said, today you're going to be with me in paradise. He, he, it's in that place where he extended mercy and love and grace. And it just, it just struck me, um, reading it this time that we all deserve death for our sins, but Jesus gave us life and without Jesus, we're nothing without Jesus. We are dead men walking without Jesus. We have no hope. Without Jesus, we have no purpose, no meaning. Um, Jesus, is, Jesus is everything. And this criminal, this thief who's hanging on the cross, had one second, one second of, of clarity before he died where he looked at Jesus and he, no, this man is innocent. Please remember me, Jesus. And Jesus saw his heart. He saw the faith that was there. It wasn't much. In his final moments, his final breath before he died, he reached out and Jesus took his hand and saved him. And now that dude is, that dude's in heaven. The other guy mocked him. The other guy, it says he hurled abuse at Jesus. So you have one criminal hurling abuse. You have the other one realizing, shoot, I'm, is, this is it. I need to be saved here. And this guy is the only one that can do it. And so I just want to encourage you, if you're watching this, or you're listening to this and you don't know Jesus, Jesus died for you. Put yourself in that story. We are the thief on the cross. That's who, that's, that's who, who humanity is. We're the thief. We're dying. We're, we are, we all deserve death, eternal punishment. And Jesus has his hand and he's reaching out and he's saying, Today, you're going to be with me in paradise if you receive me. If you acknowledge him as Lord, if you acknowledge him as Savior, if you acknowledge Jesus as God. And so, reach out to Jesus today. He loves you more than you could ever know.